Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The Daily Dish. So today we're talking about being toxic on the inside and basically from the inside out. So a few years ago um, I was an incredibly toxic person and I'm not meaning chemically toxic, I mean my thought process was very very toxic and what happened was that was an accumulation of maybe 20, 22, 23 years of thinking in a certain way and I got to the point where I was I was angry, I was frustrated, I was fed up, I was I was lashing out at other people, I was sedating my feelings on an almost hourly basis. I was rotating through my kind of coping mechanisms, whether it would be binge eating, watching Netflix, online shopping, um, over exercising, you know, lashing out at other people, bringing them down or trying to bring them down to my level, and ultimately hurting the people that I loved and also the people that loved me and hurting myself in the process because uh, along with all that toxicity came a, a bucket load of guilt and shame and also anxiety about the future and about who I wanted to be and about who I was and I got into this really sticky mess through years of thinking in a way that didn't kind of serve me so I, I was completely unhealthy I was so unhappy and I lacked any confidence to do anything about it and I just didn't know where to turn and then came the day of reckoning the day the day of no return almost where I I reached rock bottom and I realized that things things really had to change otherwise I was going to end up you know potentially in a very very dire situation and this is where this is where I found my mentor. This is where I invested. I invested time, energy, and some money in getting some help because I'd reached that point where I was like, you know what, I can't do this on my own anymore. I can't live like this anymore. Things need to change. And I was, I was so down, I was so low, that, that I, I, might, I took that leap of faith from somewhere inside me. I found it within me and it's I've never ever looked back it's been genuinely the best thing that I ever did and I'm not saying that because I'm a coach and that's what I do now I'm saying that because I think I think I'd be somewhere very 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 bad right now if I hadn't have taken that leap of faith and the leap of the leap of faith doesn't have to be investing in a program the leap of faith could be watching this video to the end it could be watching the next video that i post tomorrow the leap of faith could be subscribing to my email list and reading my emails every day the leap of faith could be you know filling in my strategy form uh, that you can find at www.rosselfitness.co.uk forward slash audit filling in the audit is a leap of faith none of these things cost you any money they're all free it's just a matter of admitting to yourself that something needs to change and trusting someone. It doesn't have to be me. If it's not me, find someone else that you trust. Find someone else that posts videos and emails and blogs that you can trust and trust them to take you on in some capacity, whether it's on a free capacity or whether it's through a paid program. But if you are in that position where you are hating yourself from the inside out when you're if you're living that toxic lifestyle that me toxic mental thought processes that affect you and the people that you love and the people around you then consider investing in yourself today whether it's through something that is free through changing something in your life or whether it's investing in a program like mine my ladies only transformation program is starting next tuesday so you've got six days left and we work so we work so hard on health, happiness and confidence and we build up your fitness, your energy. We work on, you know, the links between how you feel and what your actions are. So when you feel angry, what do you do? When you feel sad, what do you do? And we work on changing those links so that over time you no longer resort to your kind of coping mechanism behaviors to sedate your feelings. You own your feelings and you can then take the best actions, the most positive actions towards health, happiness and your confidence. So if you're interested, hop on over to www.rosselfitness.co.uk forward slash audit, take the audit and take the next step towards eliminating that toxicity from your life.